things you will need. <laughs> Six or seven quarts of oil, 5W20 or 5W30 or 1020. Um, a oil filter, I recommend Ford Motorcraft, a jack, a regular jack will do, <coughs> and a jack stand because don't trust a jack, it could fall. Uh, and a 13 millimeter socket and a ratchet. And that's it. Oh, and obviously, oil drain pan. And also, I recommend it, new uh, gaskets or washers. All right, so before anything, jacking up the car, make sure the car's e-brake is up and the car is in gear. I don't think I left it out of gear, but fuck it. Yeah. And also to track it up, you can use the trip pans or the pinch welds. By this car, this says are already gonna be fucked up reason is because when they have them in the factory they have like an adapter that they put on that has a slit so it doesn't do this but obviously over the years people ain't gonna do all that so you know it is what it is but you can use that or there's a chassis support you can use that this is easier okay so take off the oil filter on a new edge mustang or any 4.6 uh you turn it if you can see my hand this way so, damn, would that be my right? I don't know, but you turn it this way if you can see the filter. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. I'll, I do mine by hand, not crank it on it with like a wrench or something because that's just crazy. And yeah, that's really it. That just twist it. It's legit right, if you look at the bottom radiator hose, right next to it. Also, if you have to change the oil pressure switch, right there. Once the filter is off, make sure the gasket is still there. You do not want a double gasket. Your car will piss oil. And for a Mustang or any Ford, honestly, I recommend the Ford Motorcraft. They built the car. Why not use their stuff? Because you know what? At the end of the day, OEM is, is the best when it comes to like filters and shit like that, even parts. So, because they, they're the ones who made it. Uh, and you know what? If my Toyota, had you know Toyota was selling their filters at autos and I would get them too but they don't so they, it gets what it gets but Ford Motorcraft for Fords Mercury's or Lincoln's that's, all, that's what I recommend for them or if you have a Mazda doesn't hurt Ford Motorcraft I think the Mazda pickups like the B2000 and stuff and the Mazda MX-6s the Ford probes you probably you could probably find a Motorcraft filter because back that was back when they were uh, doing that joint venture thing. They still are, but Miles is kind of doing the thing now. Now to put on this filter, if you can see it, I know you can, just spin it to, I think that would be to the left. So to take it off would be to the right. So turn it to the left. Do it by hand. Do not use a wrench or a sock. Don't do any of that. You do it by hand. So you can get it off the next time. Just make sure it's, you know, it's snug. Hard as you can with one hand is my philosophy. Unless you're like Arnold Schwarzenegger, then hard as you can without trying, I guess, <laughs> at all. All right, so there's the drain bolt right there. Get your, it's a 13. So get your 13 and you turn towards the exhaust to get it off. I'm, I was gonna try to show it in the video of me wrenching it off, but it's kind of tight and I can't stretch my arm that far and hold the phone. So yeah, it's a 13 millimeter. Uh, put it on and turn towards the exhaust. So it's torn, turn towards that. So it would be, it would turn to the right. So, as you let your oil drain, um, a good thing to do, little fun fact for you, if you want it to drain faster, uh, crack open your oil cap and it drains faster. A little fun fact. So, your drain bolt. You should replace these every so often and always put a new washer. At least every two changes, put a new washer. It's, I mean, a leak because 
You didn't change the washer, which is like 99 cents, is like dumb. Cause look at this one, it's just, it's just grimy. I'm not even gonna clean it, but. Get you a nice assortment of these for like two bucks. Vents or AutoZone, yeah. Good. So, after you get to pull your oil pan out, or oil pan drain pan out, uh, you know, just use a little bit of that oil and just uh, loop this up so it's just easier, you know, to get out next time. Also, it's also good for the gas. It's just, just a little lubrication. Don't hurt them. Okay, so once you put your drain plug back in first, you know, turn it in by hand, then get the wrench out. And then after you do that, uh, yeah, so after, okay, so first turn it in by hand, then you do it by wrench, but only do it as hard as you can with one hand. Do not go ham on it, because again, it can strip very easily and it's not worth replacing an oil pan. So, yeah, do it as much as you can by with one hand. Unless you're like OD brolic, then do as much as you can without any effort. Yeah, I tried to fill it, but you know, it's kind of hard doing it one hand, there's not a lot of space under here. Okay, so when you, you obviously you need a 13, but you just turn the opposite way you did when you took it off. That's that, that's really it. And just make sure, you know, once you put your oil back in, it's not leaking. Honestly, that's honestly it. Now, Ford says 5W20. I use 5W30 because, you know, it's not a brand new engine anymore. Technically, it is high mileage. It only has 86,000 miles, but technically that's high mileage. So I went to 530. You can stay at 520, but if you want to go like one weight up, like 530 or 1020, that's perfectly fine. It's not going to hurt nothing. I think the car takes uh, seven quarts of oil, but uh, if it's different, I'll let you know in the description because I usually I check the oil as I go. So I know it takes over five, so I usually put six and then check it. If it needs more, it needs more. Also, I like using synthetic oil. Especially the Pennzoil stuff for, you know what, I just like using it. I use it in my old car too, my Ford Pro GT. Uh, I just like the oil. You can use conventional, I mean, I think the car came with synthetic blend anyway, but I like, I went full synthetic and I like Pennzoil, natural gas. Apparently gives you benefits, I just like the oil. Sponsor me Pennzoil. All right, so now once you're on set putting your oil in, uh, put the cap back on obviously, <laughs> and then, uh check for uh, leaks but you won't know your true level until you turn a car on for like a couple seconds and then you'll know your true level because it has to flow through the engine again and also has to flow through the filter and whatever the filter holds so basically run it for about a minute or two after you check the level before you start it and then uh go from there because you won't know your level your actual level so you run it for about a minute or two now, once you check there's no leaks and all, get your jack, jack the car up, pop the jack stand out, then uh, release the jack and let it, you know, rest on its own wheels. There we go. To get rid of your old oil, most auto parts stores will take it for free. I know for a fact AutoZone does. Or you can take it to your uh, local um, recycle facility, but they probably will charge you. So if you can find AutoZone that takes it, take it to AutoZone. 